Each year on the fourth Thursday in April, the world commemorates International Girls in ICT Day. It's a celebration which aims to empower and encourage girls and young women to consider careers in the growing field of technology. Together with Barbados, Jamaica, Guyana, and St. Vincent and the Grenadines, this country celebrated International Telecommunication Union Girls in ICT Day by hosting a Caribbean hackathon. Marie Hull tells us more. By definition, a hackathon is any event where people work in groups on software or hardware products with the goal of creating a functioning product. And at the E-Tech Park in Tamina, that's just what these young girls and women from 18 secondary and tertiary schools were doing as they merged their minds together to create products and solutions relating to mental, emotional, physical and reproductive health. According to Project Coordinator at Consulta Services, Natalie De Silva, 2018 marks the second year this type of event was being held. The concept behind it is for them to show how they've used these tools, what they've done, yeah, how they've used the tools, how they've applied it to solve their challenges. It's all on all the challenges on actual real life solutions, real life problems they encounter. Students from the Swaha Hindu College of San Negrandi pitched a support group blog against cyberbullying. We have chosen this topic because over 40% of the world's population have been experiencing cybercrime or some form of it. And of this 40%, 58% of the people do not go to the proper authorities and basically turn towards the internet to find help for a solution to their problem. Another idea from St. Augustine Girls High School was an app aimed at keeping young women safe while traveling. Welfare. Welfare is a safety app, the first of its kind in the Caribbean, developed by Team Stag to do the job that parents cannot do, to protect traveling children. We've all seen the billboards. People have been missing for days, months, and even years. So what can we do to combat this? The vision also promised to act in real time. This application features a simplistic design with a panic button. This panic button utilizes two features. Feature one is a double tap. Now this ensures that it's not pressed by an accident. And the double tap feature, it will just send an alert to the nearest police station. And the second feature is the um, hold feature. If you hold the button for a specific time, it will send no, not only an alert to the police station, but also send an officer to your current location. Over 800 girls from five Caribbean territories participated in the hackathon under the theme, Safe Girls, Safe Future. Marie Hall, C News.